Yo, what's up, Electric here. Now, this intro is a bit different, and if you watched the last episode, you might know why. It's because I recorded Minecraft Dungeons for about an hour, and I don't want to upload an hour-long video, because nobody watched the full hour. So I split it into two parts, so here's part two, or episode two. And honestly, this is such a good episode, so trust me, you want to watch. So... Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you're wondering what this is, by the way, this is just a bit of factual information. Uh, this is how fast a glass cracks. But anyway, let's just get into the video. It starts right from where we left off last episode. As for me, cheerio. So, another thing that's on my mind about Minecraft Dungeons is how playable it is, so obviously there's a story mode and you go for each mission but once you complete the story mode, I don't know how long it is but is there anything else? What else do you have to do? Is there any other things to keep you playing over and over again? Anyway, what's this? Eaten by daring warriors before battle, the death cap mushroom drives fighters into a frenzy. Is that an artifact then? Let us see. It is. Uh, right, I'm gonna equip it. I didn't use the uh, fishing rod. That would have been good for the uh, archers. Not the archers, the skeletons. Pretty obvious. Oh, we got a blacksmith fellow then. Oh, so this is what the emeralds are for. So I'm guessing. Oh, what's this over here? I'm guessing in the camp you get um, villagers that come along and you can trade with them and. Each one will benefit you in a different way. The random gear. Power one axe. The axe is an effective weapon favoured by the relentless vindicators of the Arch Elijah's army. And has a spin attack move. Alright, that's the wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. It has a less attack though, so I'm not too happy with that. I'm going to salvage both these weapons they have. Get some gems for them. Let's try once more. Oh, crossbow. Fast projectiles. Oh, that's like, meow, meow. <laughs> that isn't a very good way to describe it. Wrong button again. But yeah, uh, oh, we have three enchantments for this one. What are they? Oh, multi shot. I do like the look of that. Infinity chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting. That might be good to save arrows, but from what I found from that last level, you get a lot of arrows, so I think I'm alright for that one. The fire shot grows in the air, doing extra damage. That seems alright, that's sort of like power. I do like the idea of multi shot though. So I'm going to salvage this bow, enchant this with multi shot, and equip it. What's this? Is this a shield I can get eventually? Okay, so I guess the next step is just mission select. And we'll get into the next mission. That's the wrong thing. Oh, there's so many th different things that I've opened up. Okay, so I'm guessing we can do our next missions. So we can go to any area we want, but then I'm just going to follow the uh, storyline. So recommended power one, yeah, power three. Hey, see, we're already too good for the game. Is there a difficulty? Thing? Well, exit story. Last homely half. The Illager Reds have reached quite fields of pumpkin bitches. <laughs> As the villagers were dragged off in chains and everything burned, it seems all was lost, but one village still stands in the chaos. That last homely ha half uh, remains a beacon of hope, but they need our help. So, is that where I'm going then? This game is so good. I really recommend it to anyone at all. This has really good RPG elements, but it's also simple to follow along. I guess this would be a good RPG for people new to the genre. I'm I'm not any pro or anything. Like I've only played a few RPGs, but I, just, I love it. It's so good. The art style, the music, the uh, I would say mechanics, but you know, that sounds too smart for me to say. I guess just the controls is a better thing to say for me. The it looks like we've ordered it. The have roasted this once lush land to ruin. 
Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are their only hope. I reckon we're probably gonna get there too late, aren't we? Oh, that crossbow fires really fast. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about my uh, artifacts. I don't even know that. Oh, that was a multi shot. That was pretty sick. Down here, nothing. Oh, hello tree. Is that acacia wood? I don't know my woods. Oh, TNT. Good for large areas of mobs. I can't. <laughs> um, it took me a while to think that one. Seems you do get a lot of emeralds. I think that's good. Level up! What else pick up? I just picked up sickles. Alright. Wrong button. Uh, what was what I just picked up? Uh, dual wield. 6 to 15 melee damage. I can get dual wield weapons now. Also, I want to salvage this. Because it's worse than the one I have. Um, what enchantments? Rampaging. Permitted deal increased damage against already wounded em and enemies. That's pretty good for um, you know the tougher enemies and weakening. Your attack just decrease the attacks of only about enemies for five seconds. Not bad. Um, I guess the one next to it is actually really the power. Oh yeah, so it's the power of the item, not the damage. So this does 14 to 22, whereas this does 6 to 15. Um, has a height. Oh, I'm. I can still get hit. Yeah, I wasn't. I thought that would happen. Okay. I'm gonna salvage this and see what I can enchant on this. Oh, can you only get one enchantment? Seems fair enough. Like, I need two for that though, and I probably need for that. All right. So, find the last half. I think that's how you pronounce that anyway. Guiding me over here, but I don't know what's over here. Oh, now it brings me over here. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like the uh, fishing rod. That guy's low enough. Oh! I died. That was like an ambush. Oh, I love talking about dying. Alright, I'm going to equip my firework arrow this time. That was such a waste. I need to lure them over. Those creeper totem things are really annoying. Okay, I'm going to eat the mushroom thing. Okay, that it massively increases my... Uh, Attack speed by the looks of things. I wonder if I'm missing anything. I hope I'm not. Oh god, is this the last village? Very grand village. This? Oh, not you again, yeah, don't you? Look at you, big head. They do a lot of damage. Not those things again. Was he an arch or some sort? Okay, I did. I just did a lot of damage there. So I'm guessing they've already been here. Everyone's already dead. Oh! oh there was a lot. Well, not, not too much for me though. Look at me go! You can hold down on me. Oh, I got some armor. 
equip that straight away. Or oh, I can enchant this. I don't want to do that. I know I'm about to get attacked, but thorns. Okay, I, d I don't even want to look at the other ones. Okay, shadow of state thing. Oh, I should have done the lever over there. Actually. Right, some more arrows, some bread to heal up. Okay, there's a slow to draw bridge then. Can't speak. I guess it has. So, are the villagers safe or not? I really don't know, but we're about to find out, I assume. I think they're all dead, personally. That spider did not attack me. Oh no. Oh, this is a mini boss. Have that. I'll let you borrow it. Go back there. Alright, well, he's dead. And I'm full health. Thank God. There seems to be some sort of. Safe birding in here. Birding. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. I want that. Oh, thorns inflicted him there. Okay, let's see. Ah, it's worse. Is that time? I want to see what's in here though. As we fly through it. I assume there's much should be a chest here. And more sickles that are worse. Another pot of emeralds. And that was it. You can see the pumpkins. We now know why it's called pumpkin passages. Another enchantment plant. I think we have two now. Okay, whilst they're doing that. Gonna blow the oh, I haven't got two enchantment points. He just died to my thorns. I can literally stand here and I will probably will die, but at least I kill some of them. And do nothing. Another one of these buggers. Just gonna attack from range. That's how you do it. Didn't mean to do that. I think I need to stay out this blast radius. That's the reason why it pops up. Okay, we've rang the bell. Of course, easier. In the, in the ambush and shoes. There we go. I'll just use my magic mushroom. Any more? Picked up some more sickles. Easy. Is a sword any better? Obviously not. Typical of games like this, you never find anything better. But I want to see what this enchantment is though, this blue one. Freezing. Seems alright. Going to salvage both though. Can I enchant artifacts? Nah, I didn't think so. A real shame that is, I would say. The town hall to escape. I guess that's the end you of the level. Did it, and the villagers at the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day. Were they all just chilling in the town hall like? 
I mean, if they, if they survived, then brilliant. All right, looks good. Oh, another chest. Will we get anything useful? A wind horn. And the wind horn echoes through the forest of the overworld. The creatures of the night tremble with fear. Does that stun them or keep them still? Uh, oh, yeah, it has the freeze logo there. When the wind horn echoes, okay, I've already read that. Pushes enemies away from you and slows them. Uh, would I swap that with anything? Probably the fishing rod. I don't find myself using that very often. A wandering trader. He's not very. He's not wandering often, is he? Because he, he's studying. Uh, get a random artifact. I'm happy with the artifacts I have now. Uh, I might try the blacksmith once more. That's okay. Probably bad because it's worse than the one I have. Got a hunting bow. That was probably a waste of my money. Yeah, salvage this. Let's see, plus one health. What's what stats does this give me? Plus eight health, thirty-five percent damage reduction, plus thirty percent melee damage. That's a really good chess plate. Scale mail. What is bow? Uh, pets attack to target mobs. Pets? Can you get pets in this? This gives me seventeen ranged damage and <laughs> seventeen ranged damage and fast projectiles. That was a waste of my money, really. Maybe I should now know not to go for the blacksmith. Okay, well I think we do one more, and end of the episode there. So, what is next? Redstone Mines. Recommend power 4, and my power is 4. This might be harder to do. Got some gear drops there. Um, let's see if I look close at the screen. Pickaxe? Can you get a pickaxe in this game? I mean, yeah, it's Minecraft, but with it being an RPG, do you actually need a pickaxe? Do you, can you mine in this game? Can you put the mine into Minecraft? Can you craft anything? I haven't done that yet. There are rumblings in the mountains of the overworld. Whispered rumours say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Yeah, so next one then, locate villages. Oh, there's not a snow sound. Oh, that's a very good snow sound. Alright, so you go and I like the glow of the redstone because redstone does glow in uh, Minecraft when you stand on it or, or mine it. All those cave spiders, uh, poisoning. I like to do poisoning on enemies, but I don't like it on myself. So you could please not. Did that creep take two hits there? I can tell. He's coming on top of the mine down. What the hell is that? There's a big sign. Everything looks funky. That's giving me a shadow potion. So I can stick right into the Are those mob spawners? It would appear they would be. Yeah, that mushroom artifact is really good. I'm gonna continue around through to here. There's a good chest around here. Oh, that, that's some cool looking wolf armor. And it's better than what I have. Higher health, higher weapon damage, boost aura. Health potions heal nearby allies. Well, that'd be good if I, uh, if I was playing multiplayer, but I'm not. So what enchantment does this have? Uh, what do I press Y here? Has snowball, fights a snowball at a nearby enemy every few seconds. Oh, that sounds really good. And burning every 0.5 seconds damages all enemies in melee range. Those are two very good enchantments that I have no idea what to do, but I'm just going to go for full power. 
And then it's always just to get a enchantment point. I really like the gear in this then. It's a very nice inventory equipment thing. Where do I need to go? Don't tell me, but I can guess. Yeah, that was a dead end around there, so I just gotta go through here. Oh, not, not you again. Stop snapping off the ring. You're about to feel my wrath, bro. Yeah, I, I like the burning. Burning. Yes. This is going to be a very long episode, unless... What?! Oh no, we die to those minecarts. We have to be so very careful. I could have had a warning. Where do I even go? I leveled up. Another enchantment point now going to me. Oh god. Where's the uh, wizard dude? Free him. Okay, I have another enchantment point. I have two now, so what do we want it? These look so good. <gasps> Go away! I want to equip these now. Sorry, but I, I need this. Enchantments, what are those other things? They're not salvage. I have two enchantment slots on this, wow. Leeching, defeating a mob heals you a small pot. I love life stealing RPGs. And what are the other ones? Sharpness, chains, have a flip sense to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound. That seems alright. So committed in the uh, life steal is what I like the sound of. Uh, there we go. We got both of them now. Those are some. They attack really fast. Shing shing! We're absolutely destroying enemies. It doesn't have quite the same range as the sword, so we do have to get a bit closer. So these are legendary weapons. I'm very, very impressed. I'm just mowing through enemies. Well, this wall must be gold. Especially since there's ice around in it. I should probably use my ball a bit more. I keep forgetting to use it. Even though it's probably one of the best items I have. Yes. And yeah, we got a pickaxe. Let's see what it uh, what it is. Also, it's a uh, something you can use to attack, but it's worse than my lovely uh, dual swords. My like daggers really. Also, this map reminds me of something. Oh, that DPS is insane. Oh, I'm getting this missile. Probably the red drop. We're tanking it. We're tanking it. We went right through that. There we go. Whoa, I need to use a health potion there. I must admit though, I'm pretty overpowered at the moment. I've got a good 
uh, combination of equipment at the moment. Oh, what's this? Him again. There's gonna be a big dude here. Come on, let me use my mushroom. Ow! I can't use the health potion. Oh no. Okay. I retract this stuff without me being overpowered. No, I don't take it back. Did you just see that? I used that mushroom thing. And he he was dead. Ah, the exit. So the rumors are true. The illagers are that building a dreadful great. forge under the mountain. I love that. Going back to camp. This is where we'll leave the episode. Um I might split this into two episodes just because this is very, very long. Um but anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to see more, if this is episode one, subscribe for episode two. If this is episode two, subscribe for episode three. Because there will be a lot more of this coming. I love this game. This is amazing. What is the corrupted beacon? The corrupted beacon holds immense power within it. It's for the moment to unleash its wrath. What? 86 artifact damage per second. Why is a high powered beam that continuously damages mobs? The corrupted beacon holds immense power within it. What's the uh, cooldown? There is no cooldown. Well, uh. What should I swap that for? That sounds like a way better version of the uh, Kyoa army, so I'm going to get rid of that. Salvage a lot of these. Alright, oh, you can undo salvage as well, that's very nice. So, we're going to leave the episode there. I'm going to enchant my fangs uh, of frost a bit more. This weapon is just amazing. This is a unique item as you can see. I love the looting system in this game. I love the equipment. I love the inventory. I love the gameplay, the graphics, the sound design. Everything about this game is purely amazing. I really recommend it to you. Like it's one of the best RPG games I've ever played. I've upgraded committed there just to do more and more damage to uh, enemies that I'm slashing away at. So, as for me, cheerio.